All right, hello, welcome back to our new recording session is the Indian Empire. Last episode, we did the final preparations before the great entrance of the war. And, uh, well, we have to align with Japan, which is going to take some time. I do want to get that stability, though, because our stability is absolute awful. We have our claims against Burma, which... I think is the full country. Yeah, we have full claims in Burma. So if we can push Malaysia, then we will be in a good place. Cut off their rubber trade. I mean, they've already lost 73 rubber here. And 36 there. Uh, they don't have hold over any of these other regions. Regardless, uh, we should be able to start pushing a little bit here. They have the tungsten. We have our navy ready to go. Probing attack. Our ports are fully secured, including the Maldives. I will want to get one unit to, oh, and I apologize for that, that is my email. I do want to make sure that we have fully secured any chance that they can use these islands against us in the future so kind of doing that it's probably gonna be a goal here then we also need to start saving up political power so that we can do this shit and kind of get I mean we don't really need more man 20 million right now so just restoring order though it does give us compliance levels and then now that we have the council of princes paternal autocrats we will join this war are you fucking kidding me Japan landed in Rangoon hell we might just have to move from marines there We have basically full road access to almost everywhere in our country right now. And we join the co-prosperity sphere. Let's see, Flanders, Finland, Hawaii, Iceland, Italy, Malta, Norway, Sweden, Swiss Confederation, Ukraine, Burma. Yeah, no one too big. <clears throat> they have a lot of fighters over my area. What is this? Okay, well, we'll try to secure aerial dominance here. Burma is fully secured here. Okay. So I will be clicking on all of these because I want positive relations one. And two, they're more likely to give us uh, Lend-Lease. 
if we are kind of, oh, look at that. I'm so distracted. If we're kind of uh, friendly with them, so. Oh, and that's just more Burmese divisions. It's completely collapsing. We're going straight for Mandalay. I'm at war with what's left of the Russians, tack bombers. Oh shit. I don't think I have naval bombers research, so I can't really research those yet. And then we can put this to harbors, probably. So unfortunately, my generals are also just getting absolutely cheeked on here. Are they still bombing my country? They are not. Well, they kind of are. Let's move these guys to Afghanistan. Where's my motor as? Ah. Whoa, 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 what happened here? Can you secure a bigger bridgehead? Or beachhead, I guess, not bridgehead. But we sink. Ooh, we got a destroyer. Dude, this is ballsy what is happening here. Let's just try to kind of seal off the remaining areas that we don't control. Why is... Okay, that should help us drastically. Let's 
especially with controlling the transportation networks that we'll need. Am I not war? Why can I not push into Thailand? No, I'm not. Nope. Nope. You're on your own for that one. I'm not biting off more, I can chew. I already did that the last time and it didn't work. We need that airport, like, desperately, so I can get a little bit more air control. Jesus Christ. They literally invested everything into Burma. The millions amount of casualties that probably are in this front. Am I producing convoys? I hope I am. Ooh. And then Aj prefer, uh, I don't know why I said Aj prefer, these guys just got completely pushed out. No surprise there. Okay, we only need a hundred more political power and then we'll be able to restore the rest of the order that we need. Actually, can we... I don't know what our Burmese districts are. We're just gonna keep that army there. I don't really wanna push. Japan, I'll just keep on your shit as long as you provide it. Where's my fleet? Yeah, no, we'll wait. I'm in no rush. We'll get to Japan, and then the rest of these guys can just move out wherever they're really needed. No, I can't really... The problem is I'd have to, like, reorganize my entire line, which is going to be a pain in the ass.